has been doing her research work in the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, for the last four years. Pranoma has a very special patent on her name under DNA encryption called System and Method for Encoding and Decoding Ethic Data into Genetic Codes. Uh, patients who have uh, acute respiratory or pulmonary failure, in those kind of patients who have COVID infections, nitric oxide is being tried to see if it has, if it can actually help patients in even COVID situations. So this molecule was actually called the uh, molecule of the year in the year 1992. And that was that uh, was done due to the work of three very eminent scientists who actually went on to uh, win the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in the year 1998. So what, but he did not know the chemical nature of this molecule which was being released. So he called it as endothelium derived relaxation factor. What nitric oxide does is when it uh, uh, is produced by the endothelial cells, goes and diffuses into the smooth muscle cells. And then what does it do? then it stops the contraction of smooth muscle cells. The lumen of the uh, uh, blood vessels can increase a little. The bacteria activates cytokine production, which in turn will activate inducible nitric oxide uh, synthase. And it will make large quantities of nitric oxide. Cancer means that the cells are rapidly dividing enough okay. oxygen. This phenomenon is called metabolic hypoxia when there's actually no not hypoxic conditions when oxygen is present but utilization of oxygen is actually uh, reduced that the protein is nitrosylated that means a protein is present on top of that it is wearing another cap one more cap is present on the protein now the original protein and the protein with the cap is slightly different and the slight difference actually makes a lot of difference when you talk about the biological system if i somehow mask the dna if i don't let if the dna is not accessible to these other proteins obviously the information will not be read that is why it is also called it, it might be called as the ring master of the entire uh, cancer pathogenesis phenotypic manifestation means what the uh, doctor actually sees what with the problem that they actually go to the doctor and because of the varying range of problems that they have it is actually very difficult for the doctor also to correctly diagnose what problem these people have they are not able to repair damaged dna that means they will have a plethora of different problems. Processes which are uh, implicated in cancer are also implicated in Fanconi anemia. There are a few of the papers that you might, uh, you uh, can read if you want to know more about this. Deal to actually keep working in this process. What it did for the ph physicians was that it actually told them what are the present scientific advancements uh, which other scientists and researchers are doing. It helped the patients and their families to visualize that yes people are actually trying to make their life and the life of their children uh, much better you were telling that these patients are having uh, like spontaneous cancer development at various tissue level uh, the bone marrow is also like um, having failure and is compromised so my question is don't you think that uh, the immune system is somehow compromised and uh, that is what is might be uh, a major part of what the patients are suffering from rather yes, than is actually compromised and plus what they have is they have a high level of inflammation in their body so that is also present so the, even their inflammatory uh, like cytokine levels are always increased in uh, in case of anconia anemia patients so they they have a plethora of various uh, uh, various uh, problems which arise because of the original problem of having a defect in the dna repair part so uh, can you just let me know what kind of cytokines uh, are usually il6 up? il8 il10 and these are all elevated in these people uh, along with mmp proteins are also elevated okay uh, so I i'm an immunologist so um, my question <laughs> yeah so my question to that is uh, il6 il10 are uh, cytokines which actually bring down the inflammation so it's mm -hmm. so it's like uh, because if there is inflammation and if the immune system is really active the cancer can't grow because you need the mm -hmm. immune system to do the surveillance so uh, i think it's the other way around and 
आई डोंट नो थिंग इज दैट देयर हैवेंट बीन अ लॉट ऑफ मतलब द रिसर्च इज स्टिल इन वेरी इन्फेंसी सो इट हैज बीन शोन दैट आई एल सिक्स एंड आई एल टेन आर हाई बिकॉज रिसर्चर्स हैव लुक्ड एट दैट अलोंग विद दैट देयर आर अदर प्रोटीन्स व्हिच आर इंप्लिकेटेड इन द कैंसर पाथवे लाइक कैल्वियोलिन और द स्टैट और द मैप द स्टैट पाथवे एज वेल एज एएमपीके दीस आर ऑल आल्सो शोन टू बी हाईली एलिवेटेड so mm-hmm. nobody has actually found out exactly why cancer is higher in these people mm-hmm. but by the predisposition to cancer exists but we mm-hmm. have a few levels of uh, you know we have few information which is possible mm-hmm. uh, i just wish that um, my talk actually helped i uh, i hope there are a lot of people who are not from uh, scientific background i just hope that my talk might um, help them in actually understanding what research is happen what kind of research is happening uh, in in india right now and uh, we need to make people more sensitive towards the scientific process because um, we we should know about it it's a very important part and parcel of our life and this pandemic situation has actually made it even more clear that uh, scientists and researchers are actually important for us that is what we try to do here at researcher on web we try to bridge this communication gap let more people more science enthusiasts know about what the world of research is doing and in that process give some appreciation to the researchers who are doing this amazing work mm-hmm.